And welcome back to Creative Pet Keeping. I'm going to show you my gerbil setup. This is a 10 gallon long tank that is filled with aspen and the top is a reptile cage top that is very solid, keeps my cats out and is easily accessible. Also at the top I have attached the wheel so it doesn't get in the way and it won't get knocked off but they can also run in it. It is a solid wheel therefore they can't get their tail caught and can't get hurt. I'm using a glass water bottle so they can't chew through it because I use a plastic one and they did and it leaked everywhere and other random pieces of wood or wood products that I buy from the store that are for um, mice or gerbils or hamsters that they can uh, chew through and it's very safe because I'm not a big fan of plastic products because I don't like the idea of gerbils ingesting plastic. Now to introduce my gerbils, this is Yuki, she's my white gerbil, a female, and I believe the term for her color would be um, Himalayan, I think. And um, she also has a buddy, and her name is Pisha, she's the one in the back. She is mostly all black with white paws, and she has like a little white tie on her chest. She's very cute. It is good to have more than one gerbil because they're very social, we'll groom each other, play with each other, and also sleep with each other. They are also very energetic and should be provided a wheel to run around and burn off their energy so they don't get fat. It is very important to provide your gerbils with something to chew on because like most rodents, their teeth will continue to grow throughout their entire life and if they don't wear their teeth down by chewing on things, their teeth will grow too long and they will be unable to eat and will starve to death. So it is very important, plus they um, seem to really enjoy doing it too. I just give them uh, some Timothy hay that I use for my piggies because I can chew on that. I give them cardboard, edible tunnels that I buy at the store, and just plain wood products for them to chew on. It is also very important to provide some variety in their life by moving things around. Now I filmed this uh, right after I uh, stacked all the wood on top of each other and as you can see they were uh, very curious. We're exploring and climbing as gerbils are very athletic and are very good at climbing and I try to fully change uh, the insides of the uh, tank twice a week and every day I'll move uh, certain things around because it gives them variety, it keeps them more active and um, it's very fun to see them explore and play and get excited when things change around in their habitat. Here is just another simple example of how you can uh, change things around for your gerbil uh, to give them some variety in their life. Uh, this time I took some things out and went for the minimalistic approach. Another interesting thing is I provide the gerbils with uh, chinchilla sand, but not chinchilla dust because the dust is a little too fine, so I buy the sand, and they will roll around in it because it is a natural behavior that they would do in the desert, and the sand would absorb oils from their uh, fur, and that is how they stay clean. Afterwards, their uh, fur is very soft, and um, it's not that oily, it's not that greasy, and they very much enjoy doing this, so they get to do it once a week, and it is also just a way to enrich their life a little bit. On a side note, I would like to mention that the sand does um, go away or gets absorbed, and so you don't have to worry about your gerbil looking dusty or, or be like, how are they cleaning themselves? They, they look really dusty. Well, that's not really a problem, and it's actually very funny, because as you can see with uh, Pisha, she, when she rolls around, she actually uh, turns white temporarily, but she really loves it. While gerbils are generally awake during the day because they are desert animals and um, they're daytime animals, so unlike, for example, a hamster who likes to sleep during the day and be active at night, they will usually like to be active uh, during the day. They do have a tendency to sometimes get energetic and just go crazy and either run around in their wheel or chew on their cardboard at night. I'm actually filming this at night and as you can see they're very rambunctious and full of energy. But that is what I really love about gerbils is they're so energetic and, and spunky and they're a lot of fun to have pretty much. Oh, and before I forget, I also want to mention that I like to buy a few uh, sunflower seeds for the dribbles. Um, I know they're not supposed to eat a lot, but I'll get a couple and I'll actually hide them in the aspen and they'll dig around and search for it, which is also another fun thing uh, for them to do and um, give them something to do. Uh, although my gerbils aren't really that big of a digger, they're, uh, gerbils are supposed to dig a lot generally, in captivity at least, they're known for stereotypical digging, but mine uh, usually spend most of their time in the wheel. If I take out the wheel is actually when they just start going crazy and digging up the entire uh, 
container, so that is something to consider. So thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate the support I've been getting from everyone. Please make sure to like it and comment if you have any questions and things I can help you out with. And make sure to uh, subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any other pet videos I do. Thanks a bunch and see you in another video.